Hello, this is our last video explaining our engineering constraints, and by now, we should know how to track the ball in 20 milliseconds, predict where it's going to be in 100 milliseconds, and in this video, we are going to explain how the system reacts in 10 milliseconds. First of all, we need to talk about how the data flows through our system. The top and bottom cameras acquire images. Those images are sent to the tracking system. The tracking system then takes the JPEGs, turns them into arrays, and then we have our algorithm find where the ball is. And since these images are grabbed over time, we're able to get the position, velocity, and acceleration. With that information, the prediction system is going to find out where the ball is going to be in the future by finding its final position, final velocity, final acceleration, and final rotational velocity. The paddle response system grabs information from the prediction system to solve trajectory equations and sends a response to the Arduino. That response is going to have the velocity, theta 1, theta 2, which are the different angles that the pedal can turn at, and the time to actuate. The Arduino then takes the word that's sent from the paddle response system and decodes it and figures out which paddle it needs to select. Once it knows which paddle it needs to select, it can then send the individual servo systems, the different angles, and it can send the linear actuator, the time to actuate, and the velocity at which to actuate at. Then the information is sent, and the paddle will respond. Now that we know how data flows in our system, several circuits were built for our control system. For example, Darlington transistor arrays, op amps, digital to analog converters, and a few more circuits for the servos, the accelerometers, and the digital logic. Now we're going to move on to the design of the robotic paddle. We used aerospace composite materials and professional ping pong rubber. In the front paddle assembly, we have a ball joint that allows us the proper degrees of freedom. We have front paddle rotation tracks to allow us to hit the ball at higher angles and to keep the paddle from rotating. In the back paddle assembly, we have four servos that move the paddle and a high precision milled servo mount that keeps the servos in place. We have an air cylinder that provides us linear actuation. The washer in front of the air cylinder distributes the force across our aerospace composite material in the back paddle. We also have rods that give us stability. Now let's talk about degrees of freedom. In this diagram you will see six degrees of freedom back, forward, up, down, right, left, roll, and yaw. I will show some demonstrations of the three degrees of freedom that we have. The first being back forward. The second being pitch. And the third, yaw. So I guess that wraps up how we developed our robotic system. And just to go back to our engineering constraints, we learned how to track the ball in 20 milliseconds, predict where it's going to be in 100, and react in 10 milliseconds. If you have any more questions, please post them down below. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy our channel. Thank you.